Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I just got something out of the mail, and this is kind of partially it, but I want to first dissect this. This is a Wenger knife box, but this has been changed to a different model, and I was aware of that when I bought it. But what is very interesting is it comes with its paperwork, and hopefully this helps me kind of date some features of Victorinox knives. Um, not Victorinox, Wenger knives. And um, this paperwork, it's always great to get paperwork with a knife, even if it may have been something that was changed like this one, because this was originally a, says Adi, Adi Rondak. This might even be in a different language. But um, this here is the, the box here. And we have a another language there I, i'm not sure if it's um german i haven't checked yet i just got this out of the mailbox but this paperwork here i'm trying not to rip it or tear it but it does have a print date on it which is fantastic so very quickly i'm going to show you the front and then these are all the tools that wenger offered so you got that but see there is the print date Printed Switzerland 1998. So that really helps with dating the knife, I hope that I have here. So we have the paperwork, we have the box, and then we have the knife. So the knife that I picked up was a Wenger Viking. And this one here is in, I, I would say, brand new condition. It hasn't been used, it hasn't been really touched, and I think it may have been old stock and it was just shoved into a box and then sold, and then somebody forgot about it. So we have the beautiful blade, no marks there, no marks at all, and then we have those beautiful red scales, no toothpick or tweezers on this thing, but we have a Wenger Switzerland Delamont stainless stamp there, and then we have the W in the back. Now, being 1998, then we have a few things that change it, changed over time. And so I have that one Wenger here that is from the 60s, and it still has that aluminum insert, but it's painted. This one has like an anodizing to the emblem, and you can see it there. But even under a close look here, you can see that that is still kind of raised a tad bit. Actually, I am incorrect. So this is actually a flat emblem. So let me check here really quick. So here are a few other Wenger knives that I have. And see, this one has the screen printed emblem. And then this one has the flat. So this actually might even be from the 90s instead of the 80s, as I was led to think. But let me see, because some of these are actually kind of raised up. Somewhat 3D. Ah, here it is. So this one here actually has kind of a 3D cross on it, whereas this one does not. You can see how that is a flat sheen on the left, but then this kind of has like a 3D sheen on the right. So it kind of helps you understand the changes that were going on and some of the small modifications that Wenger did. See here, even you can see this one a little bit better. The cross is kind of a 3D or raised, and then the red is put down. So what I am going to think is we have the 1960s and 70s, then we have the 80s, and then we have the 90s, which is going to be a more flat and um, no embossed cross there. And then after that, I guess they went to the screen printed and then the injected molded. So that, that kind of just helps you figure out what's going on with these knives, what changes were made. And um, I, I just, I'm really happy to have this one. 
Uh, this is going to be replacing one that I have in my collection, uh, which is my do not use collection. This is going to go into a case and then this, the one that's in the case is going to actually be carried. So I just wanted to show you guys this knife. And the Viking, if you're wondering, is essentially a Victorinox uh, tourist. So you've got the can opener, you have the cap lifter screwdriver, and then as I showed you the small clip blade, and then you have your main blade. And then in the back you have your corkscrew, and then you also have your reamer. So just wanted to show you guys this one out of the mail. It is a new one to my collection, but this one is mint. I mean, it's practically brand new. I don't see any use on it, but I wanted to share with you my findings. And if this helps you date your knife or your Vanger or even your Vanger collection, I hope this helped. So till the next one, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.